Welcome to I Wonder Wednesdays with Jacob's Trading. This is our very first I Wonder Wednesday. So this week we are talking about Labradorite. So we are discussing why Labradorite gets its color play. Labradorite has this beautiful sheen on the inside of it. But before we get to talking about why that happens, we're going to discuss what it is. So Labradorite is a type of feldspar. This is feldspar. Feldspar is a type of stone that is actually the most common in the Earth's crust. Um, it is 60% of the Earth's crust, in fact. Um, so that's all this pinky part. This is the kind of feldspar we have here in Manitoba, but there's a lot of different colors out there. Um, pinks and whites and just all different colors, but the pink and the white is common what we have here. Um, on this stone that we have here, actually, this is this gray part is quartz, actually. Quartz is the second most common in the Earth's crust. So back to Labradorite. The reason Labradorite gets its shine is because of this makeup from the, um, the feldspar. What we're looking at, you see right here how it shines and turns white in the camera? So that's where it's reflecting the light. Essentially what the feldspar is doing is it's forming these layers inside of the Labradorite and as these layers form, the light is entering the stone and refracting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between all these layers. Um, and it scatters it. As it emerges from the stone, it is emerging at a different wavelength that it originally entered. This is called diffraction. So that's where we're getting all these different colors inside the stone. This effect um, was actually named after this stone and it's called labradorescence from the stone because it is just so brilliant. There are many other stones that are in this feldspar family that can display these kinds of color play. They're not always uh, the same sheen as this labradorescence. There are other names for it as well. Um, but one of the other types of family is uh, moonstone is a relative of this. Um, moonstone tends to get these bright blue flashes. Um, it can display other colors as well. Um, but typically you get this nice iridescent blue and that's essentially formed by the same way as the Labradorite is. That concludes this week's um, talk on I Wonder Wednesday. Uh, if you have a question that you always wondered about, let us know in the comments and we will try and answer it in next week's class.